guys what's going on welcome back to another warframe video this one i'm going to be talking to you guys about selling rare mods and the duplicates that you have as far as we're getting plat free you know easy now i did a couple of videos talking about how to get free plat just by selling the stuff that you have as far as with sets you know with prime parts you know warframes primary secondaries melee etc i'm gonna be talking to you about mods now in my last stream i was talking to it talking about that but i didn't go really into full detail with it in this video since i want to do it separately i want to talk to you guys with it now before we get started you obviously gotta look at the mods that you have now some people may not have the mods that i have i have pretty much close to every mod except you know doing the conclaves and whatnot but here's the deal you gotta look through the mods that you have now i'm just gonna go pretty much by random i'm just gonna go primary now you may be like i don't want to sell some of my primary mods some of them are rare some of them it's like you know only have one or a couple left and whatnot but let's say just for the sake of you know the video you're just scrolling through and okay for example you know malignant force now the malignant force is a rare mod but obviously as we all know when you keep killing captive war in the void he'll either drop malignant force and the other two mods like you know toxic barrage of rugen surge now as far as with my malignant force right here i have 58 of these now if i were to sell all 58 of these you know just 15 plat a piece you pretty much looking at roughly 855 plat i'm looking at right here if i just sell malignant force you know 15 plat a piece so i pretty much have platinum just sitting right here if you got duplicates of whatever you have as far as rare mods you know duplicates just like this just sell them 10 15 plat you could just sell them you make like a nice little profit for yourself another one i'm gonna go to secondaries um where is it I'm pretty much looking for it um just trying to find it but you call it shit uh I was trying to look for split chamber because I know I have a good number of those. Did I just pass it? <laughs> I think I probably passed it. Wow. Okay. I'll just do this. Duplicates. Now, obviously, there's a good number of split chambers that I obviously have. Oh, well, actually, I'm stupid. It's pretty much under primaries. <laughs> I went into secondaries. Okay, let me go to um to split chamber now. Cause I know I have like a good number of these. Uh shit, where is it? Where is it? Right here. Now, I have 31 of these. If I sell split chamber for like at least, you know, 15 plat a piece, you know, that's pretty much you're looking at 450 plat roughly if I sell all 31 of these and keep one for myself so look at that from malignant force that i just went to and split chamber if i sell my malignant forces split chambers 855 and the 450 you look at that's that's over freaking like a thousand plat right there just by selling those you know it may take you a little bit longer to get to the number, but if you keep selling them over time, 15 plat, you know, 15 plat, because in the end, this is what it comes down to. There's always someone in the Warframe trading chat that is looking for what you're selling. If you're selling it for a, for a reasonable price, they'll hit you with a message, be like, invite, okay, you know, whatever. Now... Let me go into more detail as far as with certain um, mods that, you know, you may want to sell. Berserker. 
a lot of people like Berserker, they put it on their melee, because, you know, just pretty much with the description, attack speed bonus for every time you crit. This mod is awesome. So, if you want to sell this, you know, you got six of them, just like me, for example, you want to sell it for, like, 25, you know, it's 25 plat, because this mod is rare, you can't just pick it up on a regular mission, you know, people usually get this mod in the void. It's hard to drop, but when it drops and you mark it, I bet you the three other people that are in your squad are going to be running towards to get Berserker. So, you sell it 25 plat, you know, for the six. You get like 125 when you finish selling it. 125 right there, just from this one mod alone. You keep selling it for 25 plat. Okay? Now... Let me go to another um, mod, and this one is obviously on the Warframe um, section. Um, I'm trying to look for, um, where is it? Look for Rage. For Rage, you can sell like 11 of these. Keep one for yourself, 15 plat a piece. That's 150 plat you're looking at right there once you sell them 15 plat a piece. You know, Rage. You can even go 20, 15 to 20 range and whatnot. And, you know, for the new players, they're looking for streamline because of that um, efficiency. Obviously, they would want fleeting expertise, but that's a little bit pricey because fleeting expertise is a um, corrupt, corrupted mod. Not only do you get the efficiency, but you suffer with duration. So, you know, I have 20 of these. You can sell 19 of them for like 10 plat. You're pretty much looking at at least, you know, 190. So <laughs> you you got you got plat really sitting within your duplicates. Just sell your rare mods, you know, your duplicates. But also you got to, you know, keep in mind of how much of them you pretty much have. You know, if you have 3, you want to stack on them and then once you have a good number of them, you could just sell them off for some plat. And also, you know, again, like with my other videos ago, if you want to sell some of this stuff, pretty much the stuff that I just mentioned. I'm just going to put it in just for the sake of putting it in. That's it. Someone just selling, they want to sell their max split chamber. So what I'll do is I'll just put the prices on the thing. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. You don't need to put the prices, but just I'm just going to put the prices because, you know, I just, you know, said it right there. So I'm going to say want to sell Malignant Force. You know, just say what want to sell Malignant Force. You know, I'm just going to put 15 plat. I'm just going to put Split Chamber. Just gonna put that in there, let it um simmer, marinate in their heads, and they'll be like, okay, you know, he's selling it, you know. Let me see if I can contact him, you know, <laughs> shit. Let's, let's put berserker. What did you call it? Just gonna put twenty five. You know, and I'll put rage. You know, what did you call it? Fifteen. Let's put that in there. Streamline. Like I said, I'm going to put streamline. Just going to put that for 10. So, let's see. Streamline, Rage, Berserker, Split Chamber, Malignant Force. Want to sell all of that. So, I just put that there. Let it sit there. Let it, people, you know. Let it fester there. Obviously, people see that Berserker, I have it at 25, which is more, more expensive than the others that I just put there. So, I'm just going to let it sit there, let it marinate, whatever. If someone contacts me, they'll contact me. If they don't, then, then they don't. Because, obviously, with all the stuff that's going on with, you know, Saren Prime, Nakana, you know, Spira Prime, people are more focused on that. But for the new players, they want to get the best um, mods so that they could put on their weapons, their Warframe, Melee, you know, whatever. So, you could just do that. 
or at the same time like I usually do is want to sell this but don't put the plat there just you know leave it there so you know with all the stuff that's going on I don't think people will be paying much attention to, to what I just put there but if I put something down that they are going to pay attention to, I may get hit with a message. Be like, yo, you got this, you know, how much or offer. You know, when you're looking at the trade chat, you really got to pay attention to what people are selling at the same time what they are buying. If you want something. But in this case, since you want to make plat, you got to see what they're buying. If they want to buy this, see if you have it. If you have it contact the person be quick about it because other people seeing this as well not just you so you know as i said no one is actually gonna contact me on this so another thing like you can do which you see me do this plenty of times switch regions go to west go to europe go, go somewhere <laughs> you know so i'm just gonna put the same thing stuff in Split Chamber, Berserker, Rage. Just gotta fix that a bit. What you call Streamline. And I'll just let that sit there. You just keep going from region to region. Every Each region is different. Obviously, East is so cluttered up with all the other stuff. You could go to West. You know, sell your stuff there. Or, like I usually do, I just go to Europe. But around this time, I think on Europe side, they're either sleeping, you know, about to wake up, they're groggy, whatever. You know, so you got to pay attention to the time as well. So, again, I just put that there. But at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on the train chat just to see what's going on. So, you know. What else? Also, if you're looking for also for mods to like stack on, build on, you can go into the vault, do vault runs, and get yourself some um, corrupted mods. You know, you could get um overextended, blind rage, narrow minded. You know, those mods people pay attention to also because. It's hard getting a blind rage in there with all the stuff that they just put in the damn place. So, you know, you could look at this stuff and be like, hmm, I want to sell this. Let me sell that, you know. But keep in mind, with the stuff that's going on right now, it's going to be a little bit difficult to sell the stuff that you have right now in this time period. Because Saren Prime, Nikana... Spira Prime, you know, it's going to take up a lot of people's attention. They're not going to pay attention to the stuff that you're trying to sell. If you're not selling a Nikana Prime, Saren, or Spira Prime, trust me, you may not get any kind of response, as you can see here. Now watch. Um, let me see. Because I believe I still have a, um, a Nikana Prime set. So, <clears throat> let me see. I got three blades and three hilts. Let me see how much blueprints I even have for the Nakana. I have three. Watch. Oh, and let's see at the same time someone's buying, wants to buy an unranked prime continuity. Now look, you gotta, you gotta be quick with this unranked prime continuity. He wants to buy it, but at the same time, I'm going to go into the trading thing here and say, want to sell Nikana Prime set. I'm not going to put no price on it. Just leaving it just like that. Leave it open. Let somebody give me a price and it'll be up to me to be like, hmm, you know, <laughs> is it really worth this and whatnot? Because I pretty much know what the Nikana Prime set is worth. So they're trying to pull some type of crap. I'm like, mm, it ain't happening. So. <clears throat> I pretty much put that there. It seems like someone beat me to him. Fine. Whatever. It happens. Usually I get to the person before anybody else can. So. I'm just going to leave that there. But also at the same time, this is West. So. 
again, you got to pay attention to the time and whatnot. It's 11.29 right now in the night. He's selling his Saren Prime set. So, you, if you have stuff that is just laying around, you know, just sell it. You know, because you only going to use the mod once. And no matter what frame, primary, or secondary. If you have duplicates of it, then just sell it. You know. Make some kind of plat of it, even if it's 10 or 15 plat. You know, just sell what you have. So I'm just going to go and put, you know, Malignant Force. I'm just going to go even lower, you know, 10 plat, you know, whatever. Because Malignant Force lost its value anyway. So, like I said, you could try 15, 10 plat. Whatever, because it drops from Vor anyway, and mostly everybody could just get this stuff in, like, at least a run or two. He'll just drop it. So. I like usually selling my stuff a little later on in the night, like around 12.30, 1 o'clock. But usually around this time, you know. People still trying to get theirs, and I usually, like, wait till the storm is over. But, just for the sake of this video, it's like, you know, I'm just gonna give you a little pointers as to selling your your rare mods and duplicates, because you got Platinum pretty much sitting back there if you sell your stuff over time. But, you know, people want to make that quick plat just straight up, you know. It depends on what you're selling. So, you know... You got to keep an eye out for that type of stuff. And that's just like this dude. He's trying to. He wants to buy. Haiku Prime. I think I have a set. <laughs> I think I have a set. Haiku. Haiku Prime. Stars and Pouch. Yeah. I got a set. So. If he contacts me. Oh. There he goes. He says, how much? I could just go 30. It really doesn't matter at this point. He may say okay. He may say no thank you. Eh, whatever. So, again, you got to keep looking at the trade chat to see what someone ha wants to buy. And if you have it, contact the person. But be quick on it. So, let me see. Want to buy Armored Agility. What is his name? Mad Dog. I don't care how I'm spelling it. I just want to get to him as quick as possible. Because, you know... I'm just gonna put a question mark there, be like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> but he may not even want it anyway, so I'll just close that tab, leave him alone, go to the next thing. Because you don't wanna dwindle around and shit. Okay, he just goes to you know, 25. It's only a five plat difference, so I'll be like, okay. I'll invite. Because you're not gonna get, I'm not even gonna get much for it anyway. So, just for the sake of this, you're going to see me get plat for something. So, I think this is like, what, like three or four straight videos since I've done pretty much talking about plat that you're going to see me get plat on camera. Pretty much on the video, so. You know, if I had two more stars, obviously I still have pouches, but if I have two more stars... I could just keep selling it for 25 plat because if he if he's accepting if he just puts down 25 plat then obviously other people may want it for 25 plat so okay I could just make a nice little profit of the haiku prime 25 plat a piece the only thing about it is that I need to keep getting stars because you already saw I have so much pouches but I only have two stars and obviously the stars drop in um t1 sabotage uh, yeah T1 Sabotage. So, you know, I'm going to have to pretty much raid th that shit. Because I got keys to get it. So, it's like, alright. 
All right, he's right there. So let me get this trade started. I got so much freaking blueprints. I don't need to worry about blueprints for the Aiku. Um, Haiku Prime Stars. Haiku Prime Stars. Stars there. Now for the pouch. Obviously, it's two pouches and two stars. Pouch is not even an issue. It's the stars that are an issue. So... <clears throat> have any extra parts for it I have the parts right there <laughs> have any extra parts oh no nah, I just realized what the hell he was saying nah just this my last set Cause this is my last set. <clears throat> this is this is just my last set. The reason why is because the stupid um stars. So it's not like you know, I have extra. I have extra pouches. I have extra blueprints, but not stars. So so I'm just gonna wait for him. Twenty five plat. It's there. Accept it. There you go. Because it's it, <laughs> it's my last set. So, and he got the last one. So, there goes twenty five plat right there. Um, he says thank you. He'll probably leave the dojo anytime soon or later, whenever he decides to leave. That's up to him. If I leave the dojo, he automatically leaves anyway. So it really doesn't matter which way I go with this. Um. I could still put this in there, Malignant Force, Split Chamber, I could just go template with this, just, you know, because if someone just does respond, they'll be like, okay, yeah, so obviously they'll respond to 10 plat. <laughs> but, uh, you're pretty much seeing the, the rawness, it's just like my part two of how to make um how to get platinum you pretty much see the footage on how the full experience even the first one so pretty much i'm just taking out through somewhat of like the process yet again so but in more detail when it comes to just selling your rare mods and whatnot but oh see this dude wants to buy lethal torrent and oh see split chamber deal okay i'll invite so see comes to fruition right there I'll invite you there you go 10 plat that's what they respond to so obviously just say 10 plat <laughs> for stuff and you could just make a little thing there what is this dude name forever evil lethal torrent I think he wants the lethal torrent for 10 plat I'm just going to put 15 plat. I bet you he's not even going to respond to it. Okay, he's in the thing. He's coming. He wants split chamber. DJ, right? okay, he's right there. I'm away from the move. Then I go because usually they just, they don't respond all that quick and stuff, so. All right, so I'm gonna sell him that split chamber. So, where's that split chamber? Oh, shit. There you go, split chamber. Split chamber, 10 plat. Doesn't seem like much, but over time, that 10 will turn to 20, then 30, then 40. You know, the, the, it'll be a chain. All right, so he uh, finished the, the, the trade. He says, thank you. I say thank you. He'll probably go away now. You know. Want to wanna buy Blind Justice. I'm not going to get to that dude because obviously, look at all of this. Someone probably got to him already. So, want to buy Overextended. You know, 
Okay. I'll do this. Wanna sell um Berserker. Twenty. I went twenty five. This time I'm gonna put twenty. But at the same time I'm keeping an eye on what's going on in the trading because someone may wanna buy something that I have. Uh Soma set he's selling. He's selling his set. I have a Soma set too, which is that, you know. Ten plat for what? For Berserker? If that's the case, hell no. Berserker ain't worth that. I ain't gonna go that low. I won't go low like that. I won't disrespect disrespect Berserker for what that mod does for most of the damn um stuff. And there goes another friend request. Assholes. No, thank you. Mm -mm, sorry. I'm not giving you my berserker for no template. Mm -mm. Want to sell Prime Continuity for 300. Volt. There goes another alert. I'm not going to bother with that, though. Uh, do 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 do. He's selling the hilt. He wants to buy Buzzkill for 116. <laughs> he wants to buy Ventral Revenant. If I had an extra one, I would just give it to him, but I only have one. So, you know, skip that. Um, I want to sell one more thing before I pretty much call this video. <laughs> before I call it, you know. But as far as with me selling stuff, it's, you know, whatever. He wants to buy Fang Prime set. Springer back. Fang Prime set. Hmm. I don't even know how much you want to buy for it. I know I have two handles and a crap ton of blades. So, I think it's two blades and two handles. Yeah. Because two blades, two, yeah, it's two blades, two handles. So. Reaper blade. Okay. I, I've never sold the Fang Prime set before, but I only have one. So I'm just gonna say to him, I'm selling Fang Prime set. You know what? I'm just gonna say forty. I'm gonna say forty. Um, if he says no, thank you, then you know, I don't, this is, it's, it's a lesson for lesson for me because I've never actually sold the set. Oh, he says okay. <laughs> oh, he's in, he's inviting me. All right, so. If that happens, and he's already in the dojo, don't try to se send a person one, because then it will be confusion, so that if you leave, then he'll probably leave the dojo, then you'll have to go back and whatnot, so just leave your dojo, go to theirs, you know, it's no big thing, no competition of, oh, come to my dojo, my dojo's better than yours, don't, don't, don't start nothing, because if you would tend to do that, you'll turn the person off, and they'll be like, forget it, I ain't gonna bother to trade with you. So you're gonna pretty much lose plat <laughs> right there just because of your bragging and boasting. So, not wise. So just, you know, just don't do it. Alright. Fang Prime Blueprint. Let me see. Um, See, I got so much fucking blades. So I'm just giving them two blades. And two handles. As you can see, that's all I got. All I got is handles. Just two handles. So there goes a set right there. Fang Prime. Right there in its... In its glory, I guess. Um... Yeah. So let me just do with the trade. 40. There you go. Got that. Thank you. I'll leave the dojo. 
And, you know, there you go. So pretty much I sold Split Chamber. You know. So Fang. <laughs> Fang Prime set. I actually sold the. That's like my first set. Fang Prime. And I sold it for 40. So at least I know what that is going for. People will actually buy it for that. So. It may just be T2 defense in the near future for me to try and get handles because you see how much damn blades I have. You see how much freaking blueprints I have. Just doing T3 survival and, and the others, I just be stocking up on blades and whatnot, but I've never actually gone for the handles. So it's like, you know, okay. So pretty much in the future, since I know a Fang Prime is worth, which is really not bad, 40 plat. Just stock up on handles, man. And, you know, I, I'll be... I'll be set with that. So... Let me see if there's anything else. Uh... Oh, here's another thing. I could probably just sell this for what it is. I could just do this. Bow Prime... Son of a bitch. Bow Prime set. 40. I'm just throwing that in. I should have just left it just bow prime set, but if I get a, if I just sold a fang prime set for 40, let me try the bow prime. I mean, why not? Because the handle is the is like really the hardest out of the bunch. Cause you could get the blueprint and the freaking ornaments. But the handle with the stuff that's in T4 Exterminate, yeah. So Ah, look, he's selling it for 20. So obviously he just devalued my shit. <laughs> he just devalued my shit right there. So, okay. Uh, let me see. I want to buy extra junk. He wants to buy Nikana. Wait, that's the same dude. Hold on. I could probably just give... <laughs> I'm going to say Nakana Prime. I may just sell this to the same dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, wait a minute. That's the same dude. He wants to buy Nakana Prime. Like, what? He may just hit me with a stupid price. I know what the Nakana Prime is worth. I sold mine. The first set I sold was for 400. Then I went 250, and I stayed there ever since. And I've been selling it for that. So I don't know. He wants to buy Bow Prime. I don't know if I could catch this dude, but I'm gonna try. Hex. Wait, is it Hex, or is it the other dude? Oh, it was Hex Prime. Bow Prime. Nakana Prime set two fifty full. I was gonna say full set since he just asked. Bow Prime set twenty. Ha <laughs> ha blur. <laughs> but since I have so much sets of it, twenty plat difference from the one that I was putting in the thing. But you know what? For the sake of the video, okay, I'll invite you. So, I'll just sell that to him. It's... I think it's two ornaments and one handle. I think. Yeah, it is two ornaments, one handle. Because the two tips make the ornaments. And obviously, the handle is obviously where you hold. So, it's two ornaments and a handle. So, you'll see me get more plat. 230 that's only a 20 plat difference okay I should have just invited um <laughs> the dude that wanted the Nikana first oh for the love of God all right you know what this one's more important than Nikana for <laughs> so I'm going to leave the Bow Prime. Hopefully, I could get this sold. Go back to the dojo. See if I could get that Bow Prime sold. And then, you know, 
it's 20 plat. So pretty much, think of it like this. The Nikana, I'm selling it for 230 Like what they said, 230 And the Bow Prime will make up for it. So pretty much, it's like I'm, I somewhat sold the Nikana Prime for 250 even though the other 20s for the Bow, but, you know, whatever. It's, it gets complicated, <laughs> but y'all understand where I'm going with this. So, Nikana, Blade, and the Hilt. So, I'll have two sets left. Where's the Hilt? Okay, there it goes. There goes the Hilt. Alright, so 230. Forget all that shit when people say, oh, the Nikana Prime is worth 100. Bullshit. It's, it's 200 or more. It's 200 or more. The Blade and the Hilt. <laughs> all right so 230 sold it to the same dude thank you very much and I'm just gonna say enjoy Nikana Nikana Prime close that leave the dojo uh <laughs> I hope, oh god, hopefully I can get to the dojo, to my dojo, invite the other dude that wants the bow, the bow prime. <laughs> this video is gonna be a funny one. I have to go back and forth. I'm surprised I didn't get host migrated. But... Y'all seeing the experience of what I'm going through. I, you actually saw, saw me sold the split chamber. Too bad I couldn't sell the Berserker and the... Yeah, I could have sold Berserker, but that dude wanted it for 10. Bullshit. I ain't selling my Berserker for 10. He, 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 could, he, could, he could go and kick rocks, bro. So, let me send him that invite. Hopefully he comes. If he doesn't, then obviously, yeah. I missed out on 20 plat. Fine. I could still sell it for 20 since I know... I could even sell it, try to sell it for 25. I could just do this. 25. I could just do, <laughs> just do that. So, it's, it's like, you know... But see, that, that trade didn't take no time, so hopefully he'll come in. I just hope he... I hope he does come. If he doesn't come, then, you know, eh, fine. You know, by all means, you could try and get it somewhere else. Need 20 plat help. Arrow mutation? Do he actually wants to have a mutation? Or is he just trolling? Cause I know I have this mod, Arrow Mutation. He must be trolling. <laughs> Trickery. Wanna sell Nikana Prime Blade 100. You see what I mean when I said the blade is worth so much? Because of, you know, how scarce it is in T2 survival. <laughs> I mean, shit. So, yeah, this doesn't seem like he's even coming, so... Oh, well. Ooh! Y'all yeah, saw it. Oh, and there goes Migration. <laughs> Y'all yeah, see it. Vasto Prime. He wants to buy Vasto Prime for 40 Good God. <laughs> and Host Migration kicks in and... Oh, that was fast. Where is he? Where is he? Wow. I probably just missed them now because of that shit. I probably just did miss them. That's no problem. I probably missed them because of that host migration. I bet you. I'm going to say Vasto Prime. 40. Like I said, you got to keep your eyes open for this type of stuff. You got to keep looking at the trade. See what people want to buy. And it's a good thing I'm showing you this on camera. Because, I mean, shit. <laughs> People think that I can't pull off these these trades and whatnot. I'm like, man, 20, 40. And as you saw in the Connor Prime, 230. I mean, shit. <laughs> Some of my friends came and pulled this damn stuff. And he's trying to sell it for 300. 
My first set, like I said, I sold it for four hundred. That's because it it just it, it it recently came out. So I gotten the set for myself, and I gotten another one. So I said, "Yo, let me sell that." So he's trying to sell it for three hundred, which he could somewhat pull it off depending on the person he bumps into. But you know, if he can, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. If he can, but you know, um, let me try Berserker one more time. If if I don't get no kind of thing, then you know it is what it is. I'm gonna say fifteen plat. To twenty. Now someone may just end up be a little smart ass and they'll say freaking ten. Cause they they tend to do that. And it's like, you know, don't don't try that crap that's that crap with me, man. You saw me put fifteen and yet you wanna go ten. And like I said, the reason why I accepted that trade for the Nakana Prime is because the Nakana Prime set is really 200 or above. If, like he said, that dude just put 230, even though I put 250, it's only a 20 plat difference, but it's still in the range of how much it's really worth. So I'm like, all right, fine. But, you know, that's, that's <laughs> trading for you. Like I, like I be telling people, man, I play chess, not checkers when it comes to this. So, you make a move, I'll make a better move. <laughs> you think you made a better move? I'm going to make a great move. So, <clears throat> so, obviously I'm not getting no responses for the Berserker, so, you know, fine. Um... Want to buy Nikana Prime. For the sake of this, let me see how much he wants to buy for it. Let me see. Nikana Prime. He wants to buy it. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. I'm going to say offer. This is what I usually do and just let them put their price. Usually some of them will just, just give me a stupid price. So I'll say no thank you. But let me see what he's going to put down. If he ain't putting down what it's supposed to be, then I'm just going to be like, just cut it. Move right along. Because I sold it for freaking two, 230 See? 100 No thank you. No thank you. Close the tab. Forget that, dude. So, <laughs> uh, again, you saw me sold it for two thirty. Obviously, I said two fifty, but two thirty. I mean, come on, it's only a twenty plat difference. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you because for some, because obviously you went over two hundred anyway. That dude trying to get it for a hundred, bullshit. Early on, you saw someone was selling the blade, the Nakana Prime blade for a hundred. Why must I give you my Nakata Prime set for a hundred? <laughs> Come on. Again, use your head. <laughs> this is why I say you gotta pay attention to the chat. You gotta pay attention to the trade chat. So that's gonna be the video, guys. So like I said before, if you got rare mods, sell them duplicates. As you saw, I sold this the, the split chamber for, you know. 10 plat if I keep doing that over time you know I can make a little you know a little bit of plat for myself but pretty much the highlight of this video is me selling the Nakana Prime set for 230 so that's gonna be pretty much it guys so I'll catch you on the flip side man this is King Kachi peace out man peace out